Carl asks a question about the cell membrane. He says that because in my Biology of Belief book, I talk about the cell membrane as the brain, he was also interested in what does the cell membrane use to protect itself as well, so that it's not just a, a, a mechanism designed for neurological activity of the cell, but it's also the equivalent of a skin. So the cell membrane has both a skin's protective function and a nervous system's control function. The question is, well, how does it protect itself? Well, number one, on the surface of our cells, there's a forest, a miniature forest of polysaccharide sugars. And so if you were very, very small and could walk on the surface of your cell, it'd be like walking through a forest of sugar trees. And the sugar trees actually have electrical charges attached to them, uh, mainly negative charges on these sugars, which repels positive particles and keeps them from getting to the surface. So one aspect of protection is just the charge of the surface that prevents uh, molecules from coming in close proximity to the cell membrane. But there are other ways the cell protects itself. There are receptors that recognize things in the environment that are toxic or threatening, and these receptors can bind and negate the influence of these environmental problems. So that's another way of protection. And so basically we can say that the sugars uh, on the surface, which is actually that layer is called the glycocalyx. Glyco is sugar, calyx is coat. On the surface of every cell is a sugar coat, which acts as an insulator and a filter that protects the surface of the cell from being bombarded by stuff from the outside. There's actually a layer of water around those trees, and the significance about that layer of water is that it's called the unstirred layer. What it means is it's like a moat, and that water on the surface of the cell is a moat between the outside environment and the inside environment and acts again to repel or keep out particles from the environment from affecting the cell membrane. Simple conclusion, the cell membrane is both a neurological mechanism for controlling cell functions, but simultaneously it's the equivalent of a skin that controls what goes in and out of the cell and what protects it from things from the outside and the nature of keeping a very secure interface so the cell can deal with the external environment. Carl also asks, is it possible that environmental chemicals and signals could fool the cell by mimicking natural things? And the answer is, that's absolutely true. In fact, many viruses that enter our cell enter the cell because they actually have a camouflage on them, a molecular camouflage that the cell doesn't recognize as being foreign and then will actually take that virus and pull it in. Significance, of course, is that cells get infected by the viruses that influences their function and ultimately shuts down the cells, uh, hopefully before releasing new viruses into the environment. But over time, cells can learn how to protect themselves. Cells have an, engaged in them their own immune system. It's a system called ubiquitin. And ubiquitin is a molecule that marks uh, other molecules that don't belong in the system and marks these molecules that the cell will remove and destroy them. The question is then, can cells protect themselves from molecules that mimic natural things and then come into the system? The answer is, Yes and no. It can allow viruses to come in and cause the cell to be destroyed. But it also can learn. The cell has a capability of learning. And the significance of that learning is that it can pass on the learning to subsequent cells that are derived from its own cell division. Cells can learn information about the environment, change the proteins that are in the cell to act as better protection mechanisms on the outer surface of the cell. So, a whole variety of different aspects of protection are included along with the neurological function of a cell membrane. It's very important to understand that, again, the cell membrane is the equivalent of a skin in a human. And so the functions of the skin are being carried out by the cell membrane. And also, if you understand the nature of embryology, the nervous system is derived from the skin that forms the back skin of the embryo. That's where the nervous system comes from. So a human has a nervous system and a protection mechanism derived from the skin as well as a cell. And they function pretty much in the same way.